Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be trying on some new Suku. Out of this really gorgeous collection I picked up one eyeshadow quad, one blush and one lipstick. Now I have skipped the, I think it's about the last two previous Suku releases only because I had other priorities with other makeup and I can't buy everything and I was almost going to skip this collection as well but the one of the blushes just looked absolutely gorgeous and so then I decided to pick up a really gorgeous quad and also one of the moisture rich lipsticks as well. Now in this collection there are two color quads, these are limited edition and there's also an eye primer and I didn't pick that up but there's also seven liquid luster eyes in this collection as well. Now at this stage I haven't picked those up but I might pick up one or two because I've seen a video on them and a couple of things on Instagram and they do look really beautiful. There are three lipsticks and these are all the moisture rich formula and these are absolutely gorgeous formula I love them and there's also going to be three nail polishes as well now I picked mine up from Selfridges and these are also going to be available at Harrods and possibly Liberty London and maybe Cult Beauty I'm not too sure they could already be at Harrods but I'll have a look later on and when I edit this film in the description box below as well as everything that I've got on my face today I will have all the links including Selfridges, Harrods and any other place that has them for sale as well. So I've got all my base makeup on, primer, foundation, I've only got a little bit of bronzer on today. I also have eyeshadow primer on as well and as I was just saying everything that I've got on my face today I will have listed and linked below. So first of all let's take a look at the signature eye colour quad. This is number 128, it comes in the standard Suku packaging which I think is really beautiful. I'm just going to take out the two applicators that come with this, one is its sponge at both ends, one has the more pointed edge and the other one which I'll take out of the plastic now this has little brushes on either side so here is the color story of 128 I think this is really really beautiful so in this quad you've got browns you've got a khaki gray topper shade and you've also got a really beautiful gold shade as well. So I'm just going to swatch these shades on the back of my hand and I'm going to be swatching from left to right and top to bottom and once I've swatched them on my hand I will hold them up and turn down the light a little bit in front of me. This is the first one, it's a khaki grey and it is a topper shade, it is really beautiful. Next we have a matte and this is a cool brown and then the next one is the gold shade and that one is a really beautiful satin really I just think this color story is really beautiful and lastly we have a matte brown and it almost looks like on the back of my hand sometimes it's hard to tell with the lighting in front of me but it looks like it may have a little bit of purple underneath but it is definitely a cool shade so these swatch absolutely beautifully so here we have the topper we've got a matte we've got a satin and another matte so I'm going to take the Sony G this is the worker 3 and I'm going to start off with this matte shade here it's very light but I'm just going to I'm going to put this all over my lid and just take it up through there as well. The Suku eyeshadows are just absolutely beautiful and I do have quite a lot in my collection. It's just that I skipped the previous two collections just because there's other makeup to buy and sometimes you have to prioritize what I want to do for my videos but I'm never disappointed the eyeshadows that I purchased from Suku. They are they are soft and they are buildable. They blend absolutely beautifully and they are 
really well suited to those of you that have, like me, have mature skin. So you've got loose skin on your eyelids. They don't emphasize texture. They are just really gorgeous. And then next I'm gonna take the Rafa 14 and I'm gonna go into this shade here. And I'm going to put that through my crease and take that above my crease as well. This is a really beautiful shade. Now I did try out this quad already yesterday because I just couldn't resist. I took some photos of it that I may put up on Instagram and once I had taken pictures of it I just couldn't resist and I wore it and it wore really beautifully. Then I'm going to stay with the shade and I'm going to run some of this under my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the Sony G, this is the Blender Pro, and I'm going to go into this matte shade here, the deepest one, and I'm going to put this in the outer corner. Now often with the deeper shade, I tend to put that through the crease and sweep it up as well, but I'm not going to. I want this gold colour just to shine a little bit more with the eye look. And then I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more and just, I haven't got any more on my brush, and just blend it out over the rest of the eyelid as well. These shadows are so good that you can get a gradient look really without even trying. They are just such a beautiful formula. Then I'm going to take the refer number three. I'm going to stay with the shade. And I'm going to pop some of this on my lower lash line as well. And I don't think I'll take it right across. I'll just pull the shade just more towards the middle. Then we'll take the refer number 28 and I'm going to go into this top of shade. And I'm just going to put that through here. You can get a little bit more payoff if you use your finger. But I just quite like it like this and if you see my other videos I really love a top of shade and normally Suku do have the, it's the top left shade that is the top one. I'm just going to put a little bit more through here and just a little bit more over here as well. Now I've just wiped down the Rafa 3 and I'm going to go back into this shade here and I'm actually going to put that through, just through the inner corner as well. Now I've just grabbed the Sony G, this is the pencil one, and I'm just going back into the shade here, and I just want to go over just the very outer corner, just to put in a little bit more depth, and then I will blend it out just a little bit as well. Now when I don't want to cover too much area with blending, because I don't really want to go over that top of shade again, then I just grab something like this, I'll just wipe it down. This is the one I used to put this shade on underneath my lower lash line to begin with. But this is also really good, the soft shader, just for blending just a really small area. And then I'm also going to use the darker shade as an eyeliner as well. That's what I did yesterday, and I really like it when I can use an eyeshadow to line my eyes. You still get that depth in your lash line, but an eyeshadow always tends to look just that little bit softer than an eyeliner does. And now let's take a look at the Pure Colour Blush. This is the reason why I decided in the end to pick up a few of the items from this collection. It was because of this blush. It looked really gorgeous. So I'm just taking out the little brush that comes inside. This is beautiful. It is a beige and it goes towards this lilac colour in here. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just... So I'm going to swatch this on the back of my hand and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch 
some from here in the middle and this lilac at the end and then I will mix it together and do a fourth swatch. So this blush has a beautiful radiance to it. So here you've got the deepest of the brown, it's still a beige brown. This is in the middle and here you've got this really gorgeous lilac and this is with all three mixed together. So what I'm going to do is just swirl my brush between all the three shades and then what I might do, I didn't do this yesterday when I was using it, but what I might do is then just go over with this lilac shade just over here on the cheekbone, although you can see a little bit of that through this blush. I think it's I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's quite subtle, but the shade is just beautiful. I'm just going to lightly dust through all the three again and just tap over very lightly. Such a beautiful, beautiful shade. As I was saying, this is the reason why I decided to pick up some products from this collection and I am so pleased that I did. I think this is absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to do the other side again, just swirl, swipe the brush between all three. I think that the blush gives such, it's a really beautiful radiance to the cheeks. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And even though there is that very subtle sheen or a radiance, doesn't emphasize my texture at all, really beautiful. I've just taken a raffer brush, this is the number 16, and I'm just going to stay just at the very end here where that lilac is. This is what I love about these blushes as well, you can just pick the shade, if you didn't feel like having much of the shade in your blush for that day, you can always just keep your brush over to this side, or swirl them all together like I did. And now we'll just see what this is like just through here. And it gives a beautiful, beautiful highlight. This might be one of my favorite blushes from Suku so far. Although I do have two or three of the formula that they don't make anymore, the melting powder ones. And there's some shades in there that are really gorgeous, but I, just love this beige brown together with the lilac. I just think it's really pretty. And finally, I've got the Moisture Rich Lipstick. I picked up the shade number 128. All of the products that I'm putting on my face, they are also limited edition, the eyeshadow, the blush, and this lipstick. Suku described this as gold pearl over a base of a coral red. I love the formula of these, they are just beautiful. I will swatch this on the back of my hand. I'll just hold it up so you can take a closer look at it first. So there are three different shades in this collection of this formula. I just thought this would be really beautiful. Like it says, that base with the coral red and then the gold pearl over the top. I just think it is gorgeous. So here is the finished look, and I'll just close my eyes so you can take a good look at the eyeshadow. This is gorgeous. Now, I did the eyeshadow a bit different today than how I did it yesterday. Yesterday's look was really lovely as well. The main difference really is that with this deepest brown shade, I took it right up here like I normally do with my eyeshadows and brought it over. But doing that, I thought it lost a bit of the gold. That's why today I just kept the deep brown just really in here, just so I could let that gold color shine a little bit more. But both ways are really lovely. I think this looks really beautiful too. And I do like it that I can see in today's look more of that really gorgeous gold. These eyeshadows blend like a dream. I'm not surprised. The Suku formula is absolutely beautiful. And I did find that this quad 
often suku can be quite sheer but buildable where is this really isn't that sheer to begin with there certainly is a lot of payoff you can go for a very sheer look if you want to you could even probably go bolder than i have but for me i just think this is perfect and i think it is a really gorgeous color story i think this is a lovely quad i do love the topper shades that come in the suku quads i think they always add just something extra to the look. The blush is stunning. I love this color story. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I love that lilac shade when it's all mixed through. But like I said, if you want to, you could just stick to the side if some days you didn't want any lilac in there. Or you could just stick to the side and then just purely use this as a highlighter. But I think all mixed together when you first apply it are really beautiful as well and this looks gorgeous as a highlight and the lipsticks are beautiful now suku also put out and have matte lipsticks as well i don't think that's probably my favorite formula for a lipstick the suku mattes they're okay but not really something that i would purchase now a while ago I did purchase for my first time this formula and I love it. It gives a sheen. It's not overly shiny. It's quite an, it's an elegant type of shine. And as it says, these are moisturizing. They feel really comfortable on the lips. And the shade of this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't have a lot of coral orange type of lipsticks. And really, I do prefer something like this where it's just not too pigmented, unless that's the look that I'm going for. But I think the shade is just beautiful. So I'm glad that I gave in to my temptation after looking at that beautiful blush. I don't regret it. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'd say the blush is the standout from this collection. Absolutely beautiful. So that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed. And I will see you next time. Bye.